everybody. Uh, my name is Eric, and I am the new Wednesday guy on FTM Transformers. I'm super excited about it. Thank you all for letting me be a part of this. Um, so I was told to give a quick introduction to me. Uh, my name is Eric. I live in Kentucky, and I am a line cook at a, uh, a gourmet French restaurant, really good place down here where I live. Um, go to school and work pretty much both full time. I live with uh, my two dogs. I love dogs, definitely more of a dog person. Um, I'm pre everything. I should be on tea here soon, but as of now, I'm pre everything. Uh, so, yeah, that's my introduction. This week's topic is if there was. A vaccine for being trans, would you take it? Um, essentially, you take this shot or this gel or whatever, this pill, and you won't be trans anymore. You just won't identify as the gender opposite your birth gender. Um, at first, I wanted to say yes to this. Um, just because it would be so much easier just to take a shot and not feel this way anymore. Because I'm sure, as we all know, um, being trans is not easy, it's not fun, uh, it, it's hard. But I still think my answer to this question is no. I don't think that I would take a trans vaccine. I was asked this same question about being gay, and I said no. I think it adds character, and I think it just, it's who you are. So no, I, I wouldn't take a trans vaccine. I wish that I had just been born a boy. That would make everything a hell of a lot easier. Um, but I don't, don't think a trans vaccine would be the way to go. I just wish I had been born as Eric and not Mercedes. <laughs> um, I think it, it, this journey, this opportunity, gives us a chance to truly find ourselves, our identity, um, in so many more ways than cisgendered people do. So many more ways, from taking our name to just creating basically a whole new identity. I, I really do think that this gives us a very, very cool opportunity. Many cisgendered people don't know themselves like we know ourselves. They don't have an opportunity to do a soul searching and a big life change. They don't get that. So we've got the, we've got the chance to do so much more and be so much closer with ourselves. And that's what's really important in life is to be comfortable with yourself so much that other people can be comfortable with you. It spreads. It's contagious. Um, yes, this sucks at times. I know we have all struggled with, you know, well, I, I'm pretty sure all of us, most of us have struggled with depression and or self-harm. Um, losing people, losing resources, uh, being hurt, being called names, being made fun of, ignored, not talked to, looked at funny, kicked out of bathrooms, all of that. It sucks, yes. But I wouldn't give it up. It has formed me into the person that I am today. And it has made me, I think, a better person, a more accepting person. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't think that the vaccine, just getting out of it, would be all that good. So yeah, that's... Pretty much the only thing I've got for this week's topic. I'm still getting better at being on camera, um, and this is my first video for the collab channel, so I hope I did well. I hope you all liked my introduction. Um, I've got my personal channel. I will put a link to that in the description below. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next week. Thanks.